Okay, so we're walking through a really, really, really busy market here in Aleppo. I think it's like a fruit and vegetable market. There's people everywhere buying their fruit, buying their vegetables. Um, people like shouting on these little microphones, like saying, you know, what's available, all these little kids shouting and stuff. It's super, super busy. She wants to take photo. Oh, you want to take a photo? So lots of different types of like yogurt and mint products, lots of different types of cheeses, almost looks like chocolate. Is that like Nutella? Uh, loads of different types of olives. This looks like a snack market, all different types of bread. Oh, here you can see the guy making the breads. Whoa. As much as I love the suit that they sell, like the silk and the clothes, I think I prefer this part of the market better. This is like loads of food and cheese and yogurt and fruits and breads and vegetables. <laughs> It's like stringy, stringy cheese. Whoa. Really cool. Another bread shop. You can see it. Hello. <laughs> Here is this little kid. Hi. <laughs> so quick. Yeah. Oh, try. Oh, shukran, shukran. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Me and my guide have been giving this treat to taste. So let's taste this. Mm, very delicious. So good. Mm, good? Good. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Habibi, shukran. Ala, feel much. Thank you. So good. It's so delicious. Shukran. Thank you. Right now we're walking down the caravan of silk. This is where they used to sell silk, still do. But this whole area of the market, like this entire street has been renovated. I thought it was just the doors, like new doors, but they said this whole part of the soup was destroyed. And so they had to restore or rebuild the entire area. Hard to believe this actually exists here in Aleppo. I never would have imagined such a beautiful market. Obviously all these doors are new, but this market is so expansive, the souk. Said this was the caravan or the market where they used to sell pistachios. And they're currently renovating it with the help of UNESCO. This market just goes on forever. You see what the shops look like inside, really beautiful. Time in Aleppo. Oh guys, we've just walked out of the souk and this seems to be a really big destruction zone. So these buildings date back to the Ottoman period. This for camel. Ah, tying up the camel. Yeah. Mm. This 
So we're just walking around some of the area here uh, close to the citadel in Aleppo and um, I don't know, the devastation is so vast, you know, this area. He said there would have been loads of houses, loads of shops. Now it's just like this, the road is, you know, the road is cleared, but it's just huge bricks, like what looks like bricks that would have been built up the houses and the shops and the souk either side of this road, as you can see as we're walking. And right ahead of us, all you can see is just destruction. You know, there's a few cranes and diggers clearing stuff away, but it's just so much work to be done. It's gonna take years to rebuild Aleppo. So the guide was saying there were many shops and houses here, but obviously it's all been destroyed now. But they have saved a lot of the bricks, it seems, in the clearing process. I'm quite sure why it's all blue. So you can see this building on the left was saved and everything on the right wasn't. This city is honestly like in some ways really difficult to visit because there's so much beauty and so many historical sites and you can see how important the city was yet at the same time there's so much destruction to be seen. Jabali Silk Factory. This factory still produces the traditional soaps from bay plants and olive oil, which, is, which Aleppo is famous for. Well, guys, this is a purpose-built soap factory. It was built over 800 years ago, and they built it for the purpose of being a soap factory. So all the different areas were purpose-built. There's a huge cellar underneath where they store all of the ingredients. Right now, they're actually doing some like restoration work, so the factory isn't in use, but it's only closed for two months, and normally it's working year-round and has been doing so for 800 years. And making soap is a big thing here in Syria, and especially in Aleppo, the soap that you can get here, which has olive oil in it and bay plants, is quite famous. It's like a famous product of Aleppo. This is all part of the soap factory and in the back there you can see lots of boxes of soap. So this is a part of the soup that has been restored. Obviously you can see a crazy difference. It's super clean, nice wooden doors, beautiful roofs, the same style that it would have been before. So as you can see the soup has been restored by the Aga Khan uh, Foundation, Aga Khan Portal Services area. Stopped off at a little shop, and he said this soap is very famous here in Aleppo. So this one is made of olive oil. And as with everywhere in the Middle East, there are lots of dates. Dates are super popular here in Syria. There's actually, loads of them. This seems to be another popular snack here in Syria like different types of seeds and nuts. Oh, this area, they're apparently selling shish kebab. You can actually smell it already. They're like cooking it on a grill. So here you can see them grilling up the shish kebabs. <laughs> they make olives from this. More shish kebabs. Well, this street seems to be like carpet street. There's like loads and loads of different carpet shops. You will see like this. Whoa, it's like 
The carpets just go all the way inside. Lots of different colorful rugs and carpets, blankets. So guys, we are now entering the souk here in Aleppo. This is one of the largest souks in the world. It's like 12 kilometers long. We've just come to Bab Antakya, which is one of the main gates to the souk. We're just entering and I can already tell it's going to be an incredible experience. Even the gate is super impressive. This is the gate. Already you can see lots of delicious pastries. More meat like the um, shish kebabs. Oh, they're restoring it. What, is, what type of seeds are these? This is, uh, Six sunflower? No? Yes, of course. Can I try that? This one. Shukran, <laughs> <laughs> 